Hi, I'm Alice, and you're watching Alice Cooks Indian. Today I'm bringing you a recipe of sweet and sour butternut squash. This is a really homely recipe, but it's not that well known in England because you wouldn't really find it on a restaurant menu. But actually it's a really authentic and popular curry which is made in an Indian household. Now typically, this dish is made with a green variety of pumpkin called kadu, but you wouldn't really find that that easily here. So you could use our classic orange variety of pumpkin if it's in season. But I always use butternut squash and I just find that the results are identical. So let me show you how to make this really delicious dish. So I've got my butternut squash here. This is quite a big one, so I'm gonna use about half of it. So I'll just peel it first and then cut it into thin slices. Now in terms of our base gravy, you'll be needing one thinly sliced onion, one tomato, one chili, about a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, and some coriander. I'll be walking you through the spices as we go along the recipe as usual. But there's just a few ingredients that I'd like to call out, which are quite unique to this recipe. Now, one of them is our fennel seeds, and the other one is fenugreek seeds. Now, there's not really a perfect alternative to these. If you don't have them, don't worry, you can still cook along with us. Just omit these, but it would be really great and would add to the flavor if you did add these in. Now another key different ingredient is jaggery. This is gonna add the sweet to our sweet and sour dish. And what it is, is unrefined sugar. If you don't have this, you could use just the regular, regular sugar that you have in your cupboard. So there's two parts to this recipe. The first part is cooking our butternut squash, and then the second part is making our base gravy. So for the first part, I'm going to add our butternut squash to a pot. And I'm also going to put in a bay leaf and half a teaspoon of turmeric. Then I'm just going to add my water and I'd like to cook this, which will take about 20 minutes. So just adding the lid and letting it cook. So the squash is boiling really nicely. I forgot to add some salt at the start, so I'm going to add my one teaspoon of salt at this stage. Just giving it a brief stir and then I'll put the lid back on. So my squash has been cooking for about 20 minutes and the pieces are nice and soft now and they're still intact. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to part mash this and this will give a mixed consistency of the squash in the dish. So I've got my squash, which is just simmering on a low flame. And now I'm going to start making our base gravy. I've got about three to four tablespoons of oil, which is heated up and I'm going to add one teaspoon of our fenugreek seeds, one teaspoon of our fennel seeds, and one teaspoon of cumin seeds. Now this is just gonna sizzle for a few seconds. And then I'm going to add our onions. And we're going to cook this until golden brown. I'm also going to add our chili at this stage. Lovely. 
Now we're going to add our ginger garlic paste just before we start seeing this golden brown colour appearing on our onions. While my onions are frying, I'm going to put my squash into a jar. So you can see we've got our squash here with our mixed consistency, some whole pieces and some mashed. So my onions are starting to turn golden brown, so I'm going to add my ginger garlic paste and let this saute together for about another minute or so. So as you can see, our onions have turned a nice golden brown colour. So now we're going to add the tomatoes. I'm also going to add some salt at this stage, which will help break down the tomatoes easier. Be careful with the quantity of your salt, because we did add some salt at the start with our butternut squash. We're going to wait until the tomatoes have broken down, and then we'll be adding the spices. So our tomatoes have broken down nicely, and now it's time to add the spices. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric. We added the other half of the teaspoon along with the butternut squash. I'm adding one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, and one teaspoon of cumin powder. I'm also going to add our lump of jaggery at this stage, which will melt in. I'm also adding one teaspoon of amchor powder, which is what's bringing our sour to our sweet and sour dish. So we're going to cook this until the oil separates, which will show that our base gravy has properly cooked. So you can see that the oil has separated, and at this stage we're going to add our butternut squash. I'm going to give this a good stir. Lovely. You can add some water if you'd like at this stage to adjust the consistency if you'd like it a little bit runnier. Now I'm just going to add the lid and let the butternut squash infuse all of those lovely flavours of the spices. So our butternut squash is cooking along with our spice mix on a low flame. All that's left is to add the garam masala and the coriander and then our dish will be ready. Right, so let's take a look at our dish. It's bubbling away nicely. It's about 99% done. At this stage we can add our teaspoon of garam masala and our coriander. Lovely fresh coriander leaves. Give that a stir and we'll let this cook for a final minute. So I've given it its final minute. I'm going to switch off the heat and I'm going to serve. Wonderful. Look at that consistency. Some pieces are whole, some pieces are mashed, and it's got a lovely orange colour. This smells absolutely amazing. So, our sweet and sour squash is now ready. You can enjoy this with plain piranthas. Give it a try you'll thank me later. Let me know how it goes for you in the comments and give this video a like. 
subscribe to my channel for more authentic Indian recipes. See you next time. Bye-bye.